Guru Nation, welcome back to another episode of TheClinicalTrialsGuru.com. So today's video is thanks to uh, a viewer on YouTube actually asking me a question about central monitoring. So basically the question from him is, I'm seeing a trend in CROs moving towards adaptive monitoring as it seems like it could be the future of how clinical trials will be handled. In this approach, a central monitoring associate role is involved. Can you elaborate? So these are two different things, right? There's central monitoring, there's adaptive monitoring, there's also risk-based monitoring, there's also remote monitoring. It's no wonder why people get confused. In fact, anyone who tells you they're not confused, even if those that are in the industry, are lying to you because we're all learning these things. These things are evolving. So adaptive monitoring basically means that your monitoring plan, which by the way now, thanks to risk-based monitoring, every site gets its own unique, customizable, adaptive monitoring plan. As an example, if the sponsor and the CRO, because now the CROs and the sponsors collaborate on developing the monitoring plan, all this is because of the 2016 GCP revisions that states that sponsors can no longer just outsource everything to the CRO and not take responsibility uh, for the conduct of the study. They need to be involved with the monitoring plan. They need to have some involvement in the study. So, central monitoring is here, adaptive monitoring plans, risk-based monitoring. Every site is not treated the same in a study under risk-based monitoring. Every site has its own monitoring plan, its adaptive uh, monitoring plan, which means it can change. So if I'm a site, before the study starts, I'm projected to be a high enroller, and it turns out that I'm actually six months into the trial, I'm actually not a high enroller, I'm a low enroller, an average enroller, my monitoring plan will change. But as the site, you never see your monitoring plan, you just see the repercussions of it. So. The initial monitoring plan might have been monthly source data verification, and now it might be adapted to every six weeks or every eight weeks or every 12 weeks, depending on the activity at that site. I'm a contract CRA. I'm also a site owner, so I have experience from both ends of, of the table, from both sides of the table. As a CRA, as a contract CRA, I'm actually on a central monitoring study. I go to, I have two sites, I go to the sites as often as needed, so it's adaptive, based on their enrollment. So it was initially supposed to be every eight weeks, but the sites are not enrolling the way they initially expected, which is no, no surprise, by the way. So now I'm going every 12 weeks to each site, right? So the monitoring plan has adapted, and in between my visits, I don't do any SDV. I do SDV when I'm on site, and when I'm on site, I do IP reconciliation and IP accountability, investigational product accountability, because those are things you still can't do remotely. Someone actually, a monitor actually needs to be on site, counting the pills. You can't completely have that centralized, okay? But the source data verification can be. Like, in between my monitoring visits, I don't do anything in the EDC as a CRA. Now on the other side of the spectrum, as a site, if you have central monitoring in your monitoring plan, you're probably not seeing your CRA as often as you would expect under a traditional monitoring plan. And that's because they are doing the source data verification remotely. Remote source data verification. So in the past, monitors would come to the site, the only time SDV would be done is when the monitor physically looks at the paper, which is the source document, and compares it to the EDC, and then issues queries and all that stuff. Now, the sites are scanning these things to a cloud, to a secure server, and the central monitor, or central monitoring team, does the SDV. And when I go to the site physically as a CRA, I do my own SDV, but since most of the SDV has already been done, I just make sure the site's following up on queries, and then I do things that they can't centralize, like IP accountability, right? So that's, that's kind of where the industry is headed. That's what adaptive means. Adaptive means monitoring plans can and will change, and they should change, and they're using real-time metrics and data analysis to figure out the monitoring plans. 
is one site having a lot of AEs? Are they an outlier? Is another site not reporting enough SAEs? Are they an outlier? Which sites need training? When the monitors go to the sites, now they can focus on proactive things like, hey, I noticed that you're causing a lot of protocol deviations for these things. Let me retrain you on those things rather than spending my time doing SDV because that's already being done. That's being done ideally under centralized monitoring in real time on a daily basis. So hopefully that helps clear it up a little. Uh, a lot of things that you can confuse and I understand. Just keep this video on repeat if you need to and uh, send, your, send me your questions. Dan at theclinicaltrialsguru.com.